since my PhD work is centered on trying to use computational techniques to design new molecules that could be used for quantum computation. And this class of molecule is actually called a single molecule magnet. What we are doing is that we are isolating a single molecule with a magnetic center in it and trying to break down those interference between the magnetic centers so that we can use just one molecule to store information. And so this class of mo molecules actually also possess the ability to produce what we call quantum bits as opposed to bits of information which is zero and one that classical computers usually use to process their information. So if we're able to do this, then we'll be able to fabricate materials that will produce these qubits and we can use them to produce quantum computers. If you look around the world, you see that computation capability is kind of reaching its threshold. So people would like to have a computer that is able to process information faster. There are a whole lot of things that we do even in drug discovery, everything around where we try to run some computation on a system that we are using and at certain threshold those things fail. So if we are able to come about quantum computers, quantum computer will be able to do those difficult tasks that classical computers cannot do. It's going to be way, 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 way better, way faster, and way more efficient than classical computer. If you, I, I guess if you ask a whole lot of people out there, they will tell you how many times they've tried to refine their ambition of what they want to do in life. For me, I wanted to be a medical doctor. From then, I wanted to be an engineer. But at last, here I am, a chemist. So all it takes is that passion for you. It's good for you to think about a whole lot of things you want to do, but don't lose focus. No matter what you are doing, try to build yourself first. Love science, do science. As time goes on, you will see that things will turn out depending on what you love doing and what you are good at. It will move you in the right direction. As a computational chemist, I can tell you that without the basic skills of mathematics, you'll just be frustrated. So people think chemistry is all about going to the lab to kind of synthesize molecules and all that, but it's not true. You need the skills of science, you know, mathematics, you need the skills of the chemistry itself, being able to do technical things, being able to have that analytical mind, to kind of interpret what is there before you. So the mathematical skills is there. And then you can imagine, I just told you that I'm using computational techniques to investigate materials that can be used for quantum computation. So that means that the technique of coding, using whatever language it is, Python, Bit, C++, and whatever it is, is an essential skill for a student to have. So my advice to students who are coming up, I never had the opportunity during my high school to learn how to code, uh, to even take other things seriously. I was just focused on English, phys um, um, chemistry, physics, and biology, because these are the things that we actually see as science. Nobody talk about computational part of science where you have to learn how to code the mathematics behind it but these are essential skills for a student who want to do science in the university need to have because no matter the aspect of science you want to do there will always be something you can get out of it.